This is John Pinelli, financial representative, talking to you today about group health insurance for individuals. Most companies or organizations that you work for will provide some sort of group health coverage for you, for you as an individual. Now, the way that these group plans work is they take everyone together, they pool it so that everyone is receiving similar benefits. Um, they're able to reduce costs this way and they're able to speed up the process of underwriting and getting people approved for these. Now, an important thing to remember is that the employer does receive a tax deductible for you participating in the plan, so it does benefit them to have you participate in the plan. Also, there is a required participation rate. Uh, typically, about 75% of the employees do need to participate in the plan for it to be considered an eligible group plan. Now, your employer may offer you um, options in terms of HMOs or PPOs, um, so it's important to understand the differences between those and to understand exactly what it is that you are being offered by your individual employer. The, be the benefit plan that they may provide you may not make the most sense for you, um, but if you were to uh, try to seek out a comparable plan such as that, it would potentially be quite a bit more expensive um, on your own. So an important thing to remember is, number one, you're getting good discounts when you s get group plans through your employers because they're able to offer them at a discounted rate. But also number two, remember that these benefits are not tailored to your specific needs. So they may not provide you with the flexibility and coverage that you personally would, would be ideal for you. So this has been John Pinelli talking to you today about group health insurance through for individuals.